Yo, what's going on, guys? GM Sticks here, and today we're back at it again with another sports podcast, guys. You guys can check out my previous sports podcast. I posted three videos yesterday talking about free agency uh, in the NBA. So today we're going to be talking about the NBA draft, and it's looking like the Boston Celtics want to trade uh, their first pick off to the 76ers, probably to get some... Uh, other other picks in the draft and maybe some players it depends I don't know yet but it looks like it's a brand new report right now and I, I think that that would not be a bad choice at all because they may they I mean they don't need Markel Fultz they they can get they can get that guy Josh Jackson they could I mean they could pick anybody I mean the third pick is a great spot to be maybe the 76ers want Lonzo Ball or maybe they want Markel Fultz uh, but uh, to me, I think the 76ers, their best bet is if they're going to number one, they'd probably want Lonzo Ball. So I, I think that the 76ers, that's an interesting trade right there. Uh, but they're probably going to have to give up a lot, though, because Boston's going to be greedy and try to get as much as they can out of that number one pick. I doubt the Boston Celtics are going to keep whoever they draft um, just because of where they're at right now. And they don't want to develop another player. They already got a team that's in the playoffs, the number one seed in the East. They just got to get over that hump. So I think they may go for a free agent. I did that. I, I talked about that in my previous uh, podcast. But I, I think the Celtics are better off choosing a free agent than actually drafting someone. Uh, Lonzo Ball, I still think he's going to the Lakers. But we shall see about that because if the 76ers take the first pick, we don't even know what they're going to do. They haven't really been, nobody's been really talking about the 76ers. It's basically been the the, the Lakers and the Celtics on who's going to choose Lonzo Ball. Um, maybe Markel Fultz won't go first. Maybe Josh Jackson will go first. There's a lot of interesting things right now. Uh, they also are saying that Josh Jackson may go first uh, in the draft. And we, we, we could see that happening. I could see that happening. The guy is not, not bad. He's actually pretty good. He's like 6'10", 6'9". He's a big dude. Uh, I believe he's like a small forward or a power forward. So that, that could be a good pick, though, for them because he's definitely um, a little underrated because of Lonzo Ball and Mark Hilfoltz in their battle right now. Also, another another draftee that is there, De'Aaron Fox, guys, the point guard from Kentucky. Definitely an underrated pick. He's going to be, I think, I'm, he's probably going to be top four. Him and Lonzo Ball, very not very similar, but Aaron Fox, more he's more of a scorer. And he's more of a point guard. Lonzo Ball is more of a facilitator, more of a, a, a three-point shooter when you need him. Or he can pass. He's mainly a passer. But De- De'Aaron Fox, I could see him going. I believe, I believe he could go. He could go to the um, to the Sixers. They, he could work out with them. But I believe he could probably go to the Knicks too. Um, I, I forget who's the the top picks right now. Uh, let me look that up. Uh, lottery draft, right? Lottery pick NBA. I believe that the Knicks are up there in top five, so we shall see who picks Lonzo Ball, who picks Markel Fultz, who picks Josh Jackson. I don't know, but I think I'm going to end this video, guys, because uh, I don't want to drag this on too long, but that's basically what's going on with the Sixers and the Celtics on how who's going to draft first and what they're going to get. I'll probably make a video when the draft gets closer on what happened and what, what's going to happen and any breaking news about the draft. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Like the video if you like this little podcast. Uh, I also do Madden videos. You can check those out on my YouTube channel. So thank you guys for listening to this small podcast. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.